This is kind of a minstrel style banjo I just finished. Um, made some mistakes for sure, which I will be going over when I post a slideshow video of the build. Um, I actually used copper to clad the side here. Uh, I had a I got a couple of these hand drums pretty cheap on eBay and I thought I would try to use the rim to make a banjo. <sighs> so I completely disassembled it and then I used the uh, the formed head as a mold for the skin hide. Um, one problem is that <clears throat> by putting the, the copper on and all that, you know, fit up became a little bit of a problem, but I uh, was able to get it together. Um, the hooks are probably not substantial enough to really tighten the head as much as I'd want to. I really wanted to turn this into a steel string instrument, but I don't think it was going to support the um, the strings actually, and uh, the hide is re is relatively stabilized now. And once the nile got set in, you know it'll be stable and it'll it'll stay in tune and everything. I ended up having to put a very really high bridge on because, as you can see, the depression in the hide here. Um, I tried all kinds of things. Uh, to try to stabilize the head with the steel strings on. I actually put, I glued a triangle of wooden braces in there and I went ahead and reinforced this to see if I could get the hide uh, to be a little bit stronger. Um, but all in all, I think it's it was meant for now good strings anyway. When I was, uh, I did a little bit better job on the peg head because I cut down both sides so I was able to have uh, you know this kind of configuration here instead of just cutting off one side and then trying to make it work. Problem is is that I ended up making the neck, neck too skinny. So I went ahead and augmented the side of the neck with this little kind of a OG made up deal. Uh, <coughs> for the for the fifth string, you see this on minstrel style banjos. These the the cutouts, the the, the curves of the neck were supposed to be at the fifth and the seventh frets. Of course, this is not accurate for that, but uh, nevertheless, worked out. It was. Totally made from scratch. The neck was totally made from scratch. I used cherry. I, I glued two pieces of cherry together. Then I inset a carbon fiber rod into the neck and then overlaid it with a, a little small piece of paddock to make a fingerboard out of. One problem I end up having is um, had a little bit of a bow here. I don't know how I ended up getting that. I don't know if I hit it with the sander down here or so this end is a little bit lower than the middle so I consequently had to file some frets down here and then <clears throat> getting the angle on the neck was a bit tricky. I went ahead and inset a carbon fiber rod into the neck and then drill a hole through the other side of the rim where that comes out and then uh, uh, there's where the strings are tied. So um, the copper does roll over. I don't know if you can see it, but I rolled it over the edge there, so <clears throat> this thing right here that you're seeing is the copper copper rim. Kind of give it a, hopefully a little bit of a tone ring.
they get these strings to stretch out, boy, they are really stretchy. <laughs> There you have it, homemade minstrel style banjo. Thanks for watching.